Yo, this is your boy, the Omega Katana here, back with another video. And yes, I haven't done videos in a long time, but for right now, let's get started with my latest video. And it's not going to be a simp uh, Twitter discussion or anime or video game discussion. It's about mostly about the Raspberry Pi. You know when you're on a video on the internet and people like, especially companies, like post like the PS, the PS Classic, the... The SNES and NES minis, the Sega Genesis classic, and the comments will. And once some of the comments will say, "Why well, should buy that if I can get a Raspberry Pi? You should buy a Raspberry Pi, dude. Buying a Raspberry Pi is not is not as simple as saying it because one, the Raspberry Pi is not just an emulation device. It's actually a pretty powerful comp mini computer, believe it or not." It's used for all sorts of things, from like servers to like personal media players, depending which operation system you should you should download. Like like for emulation itself, it's like there's different operating systems, but I'll get to that later on. But for right now, let's talk about why should what you should do for the for your first Raspberry Pi build. My first Raspberry Pi build was for was my grandpa. For my grand, my grandpa gave me his P uh, Raspberry Pi three B four gigabytes or so. I don't remember how much gigabytes, but he was really happy to see to say to say I was really interested into getting a Raspberry Pi. So, so we had a talk, and I was interested in getting one anyway because I heard those systems are great for emulation, which. I did research on and whatnot, and let's get to the fun stuff, shall we? Shall we? Right over here, people. This is like my Raspberry Pi setup. Yes, this is my Saku Two right here, SD Custom. But we're gonna talk about Saku Two right now. We're talking about Raspberry Pi here. This is my Raspberry Pi here. It's a mini computer. It's not like a standard emulation device. There's different different c cases, but I decided to go with the the standard one that came with the kit, which I bought off. Long ago, so I got the eight, the eight, the the keyboard, the mouse, the controller, the USB hub to connect those to the computer, and here's and and here's the good thing about the Raspberry Pi four over the three. It actually has 3.0 drives, so you can connect a USB hard drive that accepts 3.0, put 3.0 and put it into your Raspberry Pi to have more storage and whatnot, and. And I'll have to say, it works like a charm. I'm really happy with my purchase. I was playing some games today. And I'm almost having a blast with it. And I'll get to my my PS, my PS my loadout in a different... I already said my loadout in a different video. So, so what's the next thing is... What are, my, what, are your, what are my suggestions of how to get a Raspberry Pi? How, how I should buy one? Let me tell you. First of all, people who's in the comment section... Please, people, please do your research because the world of Raspberry Pi is a world on itself. It's a hobbyist computer, not just an emulation machine, which is a beast of. And that I was about to go into that in a minute, but we're not. But man, I look sad here. But 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 also, what I'm about to say. Oh yes, so. There's all you have to for how you could buy one. There's all different types of Raspberry Pis for each different use, each different use for a server or for your personal computer. My suggestion for the hard for the RAM, get the highest you can get, get the highest RAM you can get, and get the what type of Raspberry Pi you should get the zero, the the one, the two, the three. I should get the latest one, the four, with the highest RAM, the highest RAM you can get. And where you could buy, where I could buy a Raspberry Pi, I could, is there, is there I could buy a Raspberry Pi on Amazon? Yes, you can buy one on Amazon, cause some, or you can buy them at certain am, at sort, certain Raspberry Pi dedicated stores, which I should do, do, do some price research in, re research and price matching and whatnot as well. And the Raspberry Pi, you have, uh, I suggest getting a kit, the high with the highest RAM and etc. 
with the Raspberry Pi 4 with the highest RAM. Get a kit on that. It comes with the it comes with the USB with USB power supply and the and the and the HDMI cord. But the the internet thing, the internet wireless internet thing and the keyboard and mouse and the USB hub are separate. Just to let you know. But if you have those lying around in your house, let me just say that they're, if you don't have them, they're pretty cheap or pretty reasonable to get if you know where you can find them from like Amazon or from like Goodwill or so. So, m might as well, if you want to get a Raspberry Pi, buy a keyboard, buy it like a, game, a USB game controller or find like an extra Xbox 360 or Xbox or PS4 controller for your Raspberry Pi lying, lying around and use that for your Raspberry Pi as well. And for what type of operate I got that situated. What type of operating system I should use? I should use like retro, uh, re, uh what you call it? retro box or something like that. Uh, re, what's that? Uh, retro pie? Should I use retro pie? Be, pie? Should I use like uh all these? There's like these different ones, but all I have to say, people, is that. I should invest in like Laka. L A K K Y. Because it's just like it's retro arc. You just play the games, you just load them up and set up. The end. With retro bot with uh, retro pie you have not retro box. Retro pie you have to like set up everything from the bezels to like the menus to like all sorts of crap which I don't want to do at all. I just want to play retro my games. I don't need some menus and bezels to play. Come on, I just need to pl play my plug and play my games. And if you if you if you recognize retro arc, ret Leica is for you because basically Leica is like retro arc. Just retro arc. You just plug and play your games, set up your games, yada yada. Simple as that, if you know what retro arc is, it's like simple. It's, auto, it's basically retro arc in a Raspberry Pi mini computer format. It comes with the cores and everything, so you don't have to worry about that. Unlike the PC versions, so so that's that. So so what's your suggest? Why well, should get a Raspberry Pi instead of like a mint a hack? PlayStation Classic. The reason why I should say, I should say my personal opinion, go with the RAS, invest in a Raspberry Pi 4 with the highest RAM because basically it gives you a lot more freedom playing your games. Like Sega, it can go to like Sega Dreamcast and PSP without any problems. It's like more cooler. It's like less of a, like a hassle to hack your PS Classic. And do all those other extra steps and whatnot. You can just like, if you have an extra mouse or keyboard or controller or USB hub, if you're a tech geek or somebody's a tech geek, just, just, just play your games right then and there. Download Leica and whatnot. So that's my suggestions of getting the whole thing. I was I playing it since earlier today. And I was having a blast playing like Metal Slug 3 on it and some various games. And really people, you should invest in a Raspberry Pi because if you're a retro gamer or emulation enthusiast, it is a must buy, dude. Simple as that. That's all to say for now. So what are your, what are your suggestions or what are your, what are your... Uh, what are your opinions? So li please, li please list them down in the comp, bo comp box below the video. Man, I cannot speak. Been a while since I did a video. Don't forget to like, hit that like button, and hit. Don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that blue bell for notifications on new videos and podcast episodes. And that's all. The, or live streams. And that's all to say for now. And before I say peace, let me just say it's a whole different world out there. You won't regret the spending the $125 for the kit.
That's just for the kit with the highest RAM settings as of this video being made, recorded, and you won't regret it. Just find like an extra PS4 controller, a USB, a couple USB wires, a USB hub, a keyboard or mouse, and that's that. Till then, people, that's all to say for now. Peace and sayonara.